Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight, the Scream journey continues. We are taking a look at 2011's Scream 4. Now, as you can tell by the date, this one had an 11-year time, not time jump, but 11-year distance in between making them. So I'm super excited to see the differences, see who's back uh, of our favorite actors. I'm sure Nev is back, and Dewey's got to be back, right? So <laughs> I'm just excited to get into this one. I have seen this one. It was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun jumping back into the Scream universe, if you will. So I'm ready, willing, and able to see these guys enjoy the show. You know, I was a little hesitant going into the third one, feeling like maybe it was going to drop off a little bit after really enjoying one and two, and it didn't at all. Yeah. I really had a fun time with the third one, so I've got pretty high expectations for this fourth one. Uh, I know there was a huge gap in when they did one, two, three, and four, but uh, hoping that uh, it's every bit as entertaining as the first three. All right, without further ado, let's go! Regardless. Hello? Who are you calling? Who am I speaking to? Wrong number. Did you pick a movie? Yeah. We're gonna go scary. Oh, she's going to the old us. Oh, for LG flip phones with the screen. Mm -hmm. Who do you keep texting? You have a Facebook stalker. I'm gonna delete him. He is really hot, though. You wanna see? <laughs> Check out the old phone, though. The yeah. Like the Kiros here. The more impatient version of the person you just spoke to. You hang up on me and I'll cut through your neck until I feel bone. This is the last person you're ever going to see alive. Are the doors locked? Don't freak out. Are they okay, actually going to do things right here? Okay, we've got cell phones. We can call the police now. It's from Stalker Boy. He said answer the phone. Where are you going? To make sure the front door is locked. Oh. <laughs> okay, somebody made dummy profile they're just trying to scare you i dare you to open the door no sherry don't uh this seems like a really bad idea oh the way they had that tree there yeah almost like a figure for a minute there's nobody out here oh oh yeah. here come yeah i'm not outside i'm right beside you oh, oh! jesus what oh, two of them right two away right away Oh, yeah, it's a little. Oh, they got us. Are you kidding me? A f***ing Facebook killer? You're kidding me, right? Deconstruct horror movies until Ghostface kills them one by one. It's like a fork in 1996 already. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. About a guy with a knife who just. They just keep recycling the same sh uh, The girl on the right, I remember from. It's Veronica Mars. It's Kristen Bell. Yeah, Kristen Bell. You can see everything coming. Oh! Are you kidding? Wh who's the actress on the left? Anna Paquan. She was Rogue in X Men. Oh, that's right. And then uh, Vampire Diaries or whatever. <laughs> oh my Talk God! Now oh. so shut the f up. This can't be real. That's part of the movie, also. <laughs> You're overthinking it. Am I, or did whoever make it just underthink it? I can't believe you haven't seen them. We live in Woodsboro. Is this stab eight or are we back to reality? It's based off of Sydney Prescott. But then she threatened to sue them if they used her story. Stab five has time travel, which is by far the worst. <laughs> That's what they did with Lost. Okay, so they're kind of winking at the audience here a little bit with how ridiculous they There's time travel, though, in five. I wish. Jenny, don't try to scare me. I told you I heard something. I know you're trying to scare me. I must have left a window in my room open. Here we go. Oh boy, here we go. This is the last person you're ever gonna see alive. Oh. I'm sorry. I had to. See why you get off on this. Did we just lose Marnie for real? Or is she messing with her? Lights out, phone on the floor. You want me to walk by an open door frame so you can hop out, huh? You don't have the app on your phone, so you can't talk like Ghostface. Yes, I can. Think of me as your director. You're in my movie. Same one Marnie's in. Only her part got cut. Marnie? Hey. Uh, up, the up, the up the stairs. Up the stairs. Always up the stairs. Never out the front door. Always up the stairs. 
Most residential homes have one staircase leading down. Mm. Ipso facto. Oh. Unless you go out the window, you're the pretty attic. much fucked. Oh, right in the back. Oh. Mm. What is this, Officer Murtaugh's house still under construction? Okay, we're not going to do the garage Let's... door crushing thing, are we? No safety features uh, for that garage door? This garage door doesn't have the standard no. stop on it. That's 2011. No neighbors heard her scream. <laughs> Okay, that was the real intro. Are we gonna pick who we think the uh, the villain is, guys? Yeah, we're gonna pick it early okay. and hypothesize as we go. You don't want to say garbage from end? number three. Save it to the end. That's boring dialogue. Well, Answer. You just look at the camera. We won't see it anyhow. No, don't do. It was that was lame what you did to me on part three. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you at the end, and then he didn't wait till the end anyhow. Wow! Well, as soon I, as his suspect got eighty six, oh, well, there goes that. I hey, look, Allison Brie. Kids. No, I meant the display. Out of darkness, a true story. It's good. So she finally did her own book. Yeah. What about Gail? Ah! All right, Beverly, Hills. Beverly Hills Cop. Yep. WCW <laughs> champion David Arquette. Let's see if he's still got his... Oh, does he walk okay yet? Did he go through rehab? Hey! hey. Max. That's an awfully nice... Well, she's a very... I was going to say, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a pretty big house. Well, she's a big deal. He's walking just fine, too. Yeah. Who is me? Stay alive. 25 stay alive. <laughs> hey, before you get in the car, you have to promise not to kill me. What did you do? Trevor called me last night. Oh, that's uh, Emma Roberts. Mm hmm. Yeah. Look, can we just not talk about this now, please? Fine. Fine. He's worried your cousin coming to Woodsboro is distracting you from knowing how sorry he really is. Oh, Trevor. So you think the director oh. is like, uh, all the female actresses, I need all of them for this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wherever she went, people died. Why is Jenny Randall calling me? Hello, Jill. What's your favorite scary movie? I'm hanging up. I got a call like that this morning from Marnie the Gurney. Wait, watch out! Whoa! Jesus Whoa. Mayor wants these down before lunch. 25 more to go. Morning, Sheriff. Morning, Deputy. Wait, Dewey's the <laughs> Sheriff? Yeah. No. Yeah, he said Sheriff on the back of his truck. Oh, uh, I just thought it was like the Sheriff's Department, not oh. he's the actual mm. Sheriff. I wish I'd been old enough to be a part of the force when you were solving those crimes. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I made some lemon squares. In my car. Thanks, deputy, but no thanks. You're not cheating on your wife if you eat my lemon square. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Sheriff Riley. This is Sheriff Riley. Go ahead. It's going to be interesting to see how they deal with the advancements in technology in this one. It's got a charger Cell now. phones and apps. Well, as you saw for a while there, you could actually download it on Android and iTunes. It was ghost faced app mm. where you could. Was that a real thing? It was for a bet. They did it for the movie. Now, if I was a victim for too long, it was up to me to reinvent myself. That's why I wrote this book. All right, Gail, let's do it. Let's <laughs> Chapter <do this>. one. <laughs> You're about to get a story, Gail. Mm hmm. That's a 2.0 upgrade version. I'm totally mobile now. Oh, this is Hall Pass with Robbie Mercer. What is your favorite scary movie? It's a line from Stab One. Duh. Hey, Charlie. Nah, man, she wants me. <laughs> uh, right? so, uh, teenage boys so sharp hey, hey, it's a wooden statue of <laughs> the, the fonts mm. hey oh hi trevor hi trevor oh trevor somebody cares mistake. about you over here you know when you tell someone you love her she gives you everything and then you just go out with someone else that is not letting her go that's dumping Ooh. her what is your favorite scary movie man i'll show you <laughs> Early creepy vibes from this kid. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's got it in him, but yeah, I don't know about that. I sat down and began to write a new role, a role for a woman who could leave the walls of fear behind out of darkness. Thank you. Uh, really happy that they got rid of the bangs for this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 11 years, all right? Yeah. Sydney has the bangs now. Yeah. But those are nice bangs. <laughs> Not my toddler got a hold of the scissors, thanks. <laughs> oh, hot. Oh, okay. Look at that. Gail, you made it. What's going on, dude? I need you all to stay where you are and remain silent. There's a phone we believe may have been taken from the scene of a crime. All right, who's it going to be? Bring it out here. 
She pulls out her beast <laughs> right away. It's coming from the truck. There. It's my rental. Oh. oh. Get that camera out of here. Everybody back. Henry, you're not going to believe what this happened. <sighs> yeah, I'm back, Dale. Anything with an on off switch should be off. That's the rule. Oh, I bet they're going to do a curfew. Jenny Randall and Marnie Cooper were murdered last night. What's your favorite skill now? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I love interviews. You'll have to wait, Gail. Sorry. Can't let you in there. Would you please explain to Betty Crocker? <laughs> <laughs> She wants to be a part of the investigation, Sheriff. Gail, <laughs> with all due respect. I wrote the book on this. <laughs> it's like he doesn't know. He oh, oh, oh. Don't treat me like I'm the media. I help solve these things. But I'm the sheriff now, Gail. Oh. All right, then I'm going rogue. Oh, I thought she was going to give her a Your shoulder shot. Lemon squares taste like ass. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them, they say they got threatening phone calls this morning. Olivia Morris and Jill Roberts. That's Sid's cousin. Hey, Jill. Sydney. Jill Roberts? Mm hmm <laughs> It was the killer's voice. From Stab, and the killer didn't call you? No. Nobody thinks you're involved, but everyone's a suspect. I'm sorry. You may be a material witness. I buy the book Judy over here. <laughs> Two girls butchered. <laughs> Payday. Henry, I'll call you back. It's such an honor to meet you. Huh, thank you. Top story with Gail Weathers. <laughs> you were my 90s. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How long have you and Dewey been married? 10 years. Like your characters in Staff 3. And in real life, you two'd never be. Listen, in about two seconds, I'm going to revitalize your face. When you think about what she survived, she must have scars. <laughs> Her mom was my sister. Mm. I have scars, too. Oh, it's, it's got to be the same actress they used, didn't it? For, for for the images of her mom? No. Oh, she said the mom was her sister. Well, yeah, I know, yeah. but she looks just like her. They wouldn't use the same actress. Why not? <laughs> They're sisters. Uh -huh. Jeez, guy. <laughs> you let us know in the comments. We already know the answer. <laughs> Dad. You do okay? Just when you think things can't get any worse. Sometimes they get better. Well, Out of darkness, Sydney Prescott. <laughs> no, I was gonna say that's not how the exact quote goes, but read the book. Oh wait, no, a little awkward moment there, uh, Sid and Dewey. We'll get through this too. Okay, lock up. Mm -hmm. Now we know from previous horror films, police surveillance usually doesn't protect anybody. No. Well, it hasn't protected her at all. The second one, <laughs> as we saw. Yeah, it's okay. Anyway, what are you Point. doing in the house with Sidney Prescott? Don't you think you'd be a lot safer with me around? Oh, sorry, I didn't. No, he's just leaving. It's, it's my ex. <laughs> Out the window like yep. old Billy. Just like mm -hmm. Billy Loomis. Nothing, you just, uh, you remind me of, uh, me. <gasps> Making my rounds before taking off. Hanging out in the shadows? We went to high school together. Uh -oh. Judy Hicks? No, it's too early. Misdirection. I'm sorry, it was a long time ago. You had a lot of stuff going on back then. Yeah, I mean, they're making her purposely creepy. Yeah. But she got them big eyes, though. Too, too obvious. Or or are they trying to make it seem too obvious so it's not obvious, but it is obvious, mm. so you wouldn't think <laughs> it's her because it's too obvious, but maybe it is. Oh. You see nah. I, you see what I went there? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at answer. Answer's stone cold face. He's not giving us anything. Nothing. Hey, uh, Shaun Mary, of the I'm Dead. Warning you. Have to get physical. That I one's on it. our list. What are you guys up to? Oh, uh, we're watching Shaun of the Dead. Two zombies sitting outside your house in a car. Yeah. Yeah, out front. Uh, anybody could come around back. This is half ass police surveillance. Next door's close enough. Your mom home? She's got a boyfriend. Leaving your daughter home at night when there's a killer on the loose? You should be all right. Call me tomorrow, okay? Uh, no, did we? Oh, God damn it. What's your favorite scary movie, Olivia? Speaking of stab, you hear where the stabathon's gonna be yet? It's Trevor. I'll handle this. Trevor's calling. What is he saying? I'm not Trevor. Aren't you supposed to ask me a question? How's the movie standing in the closet? What's going on over there, you guys? He didn't say what closet. He's in the other girl's closet. Herbie! He ain't gonna be in there. Ah! He's oh. not in there. 
It's the other girl's closet. Wrong closet. Yep, watch. It's going to be they're going to show us in the window. I never said I was in your closet. <laughs> oh! 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 Right through the hand! Why wouldn't you run outside and tell the cops that she's getting stabbed in her house? Oh, they're 86th. Shit. Sydney's got to be packing after all this time, right? You'd think she'd be carrying everywhere, but you'd think if she was, she'd have it drawn already. Mm. Oh, it's everywhere. What? Welcome home, Sydney. These are innocent people. Spare me the lecture. You'll die when I want you to, Sydney. Stay right there. Is she? Do not look, okay? Oh! Oh, she's picked up a few uh, skills. He's in here. Where is he? Oh, come on! Oh. Oh. It was. What happened? Uh, look who showed up uh, real quick. Yeah, but he's moving way too good for falling down the steps and taking a hit in the face with a boot. Are you okay? Put blood pressure on it. There's nobody back there. You should look upstairs. Yeah, well, it's a little late for the, the yeah. peas guy. Let's get the coroner's van brought around, please. Oh, the me. whole town's gonna turn yep. on her. Mm -hmm. They're all gonna be like, why did you come back? You wrote the book and everything. What the hell happened? I saw him going to that yard two houses down. And I met Haas coming from the other direction. Yeah, no, he must have circled back around somehow. He's like a ghost. All right. Get out of here. We still got to patrol the other girl's house. Yeah, you just going to leave? This is Hall Pass with Bobby Mercer webcasting live. Olivia Morris, who officially will never go out with me, is dead. Are you recording with that thing? Live video blog upload. Turn that fucking thing off. <laughs> <laughs> What if we could catch the killer by working together? What would you say? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sydney? No offense, but that'd be a big deal for Cinema Club. Yes, she's Daniel Radcliffe to my J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, Random wants to lock you into three more books. You can name your price. Book tour's over. Sydney. Accept your situation. I'm talking a hundred percent increase in sales minimum. I won't be needing you anymore. Sydney, you fired. Could you wonder if she set it up just to have more publicity for yeah. books and Oh, shit? I don't think it's gonna end well for her going to the dark parking lot. Uh yeah, hey, uh, forget what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is, if something oh. bad like this happens, always go places in pairs. At least pairs. Even if something bad isn't happening. Here we go. <laughs> Those are good later. Where, so where is okay? You know what? I know they do this to this is the this is the emotional response they want. Mm -hmm. We can see him in the background running across, maybe. Ah. Oh. This person's got everybody's number. Sydney Prescott, please. You can just hang on one second. I've got time. It's you that doesn't. Okay, check, check the, the back, back seat. seat. Check the back seat. Okay. She that did. One. No, that was not a back seat check. Okay. That's a back seat check. Did you lock the doors? It's a brand new car. Come on. <laughs> Classic horror movie. The car won't start. Like they're fuel injected. That doesn't happen anymore. Uh oh, maybe the car got tampered with. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. He's got the wires in his hand. I would lock the doors and turn on the car alarm. That and, yeah, and honk the horn, whatever. Couldn't run, you fucking bastard. I'd be calling 911 right about now. Mm -hmm. so what else I'd be doing? I would not be getting I'm trying out not of the, trying uh, to make a run for it. In heels, no less. In heels, and he was just on top of the car. So obviously he's very close. It's brilliant, right? It's a classic horror movie. Mm -hmm. It is. Has us yelling at the screen. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what they want. Stay in the car! <laughs> Oh! Pursuing a number of leads. <laughs> Less I say about that, the better. Please. Sarah, 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 Sarah. Dale? Any comment on the fact that these killings <laughs> seem to resemble the pattern of the original Woodsboro murders? As I was saying, uh... <laughs> Oh. 
Oh boy. Listen, I want a man who needs stairwell. It's all under control, huh, Sheriff? What am I supposed to say? But I happen to have a lead and you don't. <laughs> what is that in the dirt? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's four now, huh? Yeah, we're only 50 some minutes in. Okay, Cinema Club, we are now in session. Let me just say to our guest, Sidney Prescott, it's an honor. Uh, <laughs> see his face? Yeah. Film your entire high school experience and what, post it on the net? It's kind of the one component the killer is missing. <laughs> yeah. Well, foreshadowing, yeah. 2011. I mean, you film them all real time, and then before you get caught, you upload them into cyberspace. Who do you think is behind the murders? Well, it's a stab fanatic, clearly. There are still rules, but the rules have changed. A party. Guaranteed third act main cast bloodbath. Stabathon? Uh, it's a movie marathon. Okay, where is this circle jerk going to take place? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Email invites, pretty secret. Let's go. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they're really panning hard to the ex-boyfriend in this in the first act here well i think we've all been through breakups and when you're trying to work things out the friends aren't always your most uh, uh, most supportive that's true so i don't think that makes him a suspect i mean it's i'm so sorry about olivia I'm chocolate sorry, milk and some string cheese i could never handle that kind of attention i just feel like it would take over your whole life people i care about I focus on them. If you need me, you know, work find me. Anyhow, what I was saying, so. typical of teenage relationships or any relationships. Try to make good with the friends, help you get back in. Doesn't always work. Her room's all boarded up. That's the view from my cell. Hey, Kirby. What is he doing there? That is so not his scene. You go do your good girl thing, and I will drink for the both of us. <laughs> yeah, he does stuff like Dewey. Well, they're all dressed like Steve. Yeah. The first one. <laughs> so the club thanks you for coming out for our third annual Stabathon. We do this every year, number three. <laughs> Who's ready to drink every time someone screams the word? Yep. Let's get this Stabathon started. You guys ever go to anything like that? Big no, but it looks like it'd be fun. Movies. Seven movies is 14 hours. At least. At least. Oh, Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they're in for a long night if they're going to do 14 hours worth. Remember that being in the trailer? Her doing oh, that. So it, so it really messed with you a little yeah. bit. Oh, did like they show that in the trailer with yep. her taking off the yep. mask like that? And she was doing the... <gasps> It, like how she was doing it, so it was freaking perfect. Back on my game. Oh, was somebody following her? Oh, somebody, somebody knows. <laughs> oh. uh. I followed the kids to the Stabathon. I think the killer's about to make his move. Come on, you catch the killer, I get the story. It's a win win. Kill! Well, what are you gonna do, Dewey? Well, if the oh god, if the killer hears the sirens coming, then he's gonna bail. <laughs> Jeez. Very, I'm very impressed. I mean, kind, kind. <laughs> Look out your window. That one got me a little. Oh. Not gonna lie. <laughs> got Gail a little bit too. Oh, is he gonna be in the background? Dewey's gonna see it. Oh, got his own cameras. Dale behind you! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We're not going to lose Gale, are we? Oh, right in the shoulder. God. So you know, three, movie, three is yeah. it downhill. Yeah, like, uphill is a little more difficult. It's like 40 yards away. Put pressure on that. Did you catch him? No. There's a webcam sitting up there. He's recording the murders. He's making the movie. Sucks to be a cop in a movie. This is Bruce Willis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? I'll take the next perimeter. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I know this one. You're not supposed to say that, are you? When I come back, find me dead. Like, why would they careful. just be in the house? I'm always careful. 
Yeah, and if you're sitting out in front and somebody drove by and saw that, wouldn't they just park in another street yeah, and go and walk back? in the back? Yeah. That's like the third time somebody's checked the back seat of the car, too. Luckily, modern home alarm systems are very affordable and mm. very inexpensive. You can get magnetic locks for your windows, doors, everything. If somebody opens it, the alarm goes mm. off. You're somebody... welcome for that TED Talk, everyone. Mm. Oak security yeah, systems. Look, there's, there's no dialogue well, right what, now. Oak, why don't you just have a shirt on that says Oak Security? Security. I'm just <laughs> letting people know. There's options. They're little magnets. You can get them at Walmart, Amazon, anywhere. One goes on the door, one goes on the frame. The magnet separates. The alarm goes off. Uh, not unless you watch Beverly Hills Cup, too. Anthony. Oh, come on. Maybe he's just sleeping. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Oh! oh. I don't know if that's how that works. I don't think so. Didn't that go in his head? Mm. Maybe it went right in between the two halves of his brain. I... Fuck Bruce Willis. <laughs> now we're up to six. And I don't feel like they've shown us enough people for us to even have a guess as to who it uh, might be. No, I mean, they gave a little bit of focus on uh, the, the boyfriend, boyfriend, the ex, yeah. Trevor. And then two guys from the cinema club, but there's no way they're doing it. No, weren't they downstairs when all this stuff was going well, on? Well, right, they're the all at the barn. You're shopping? Nice dress, Buster. Got one more bag in the shopping. car? Shopping. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't say that. It wouldn't be the mom's sister. That's that's what I thought for half a second, but I'm like, well, she hasn't. She's in and out, not athletic enough, too old to be. I mean, they haven't really had any motive for her. Robert's residence. You're a survivor, aren't you, Sydney? What good's it to be a survivor in this little drama if everyone close to you is dead? Gail Riley, a.k.a. Gail Weathers, serious condition tonight after being stabbed. It's the family ties that cut deep. What's closer than family? You can't save them. Oh, did she sneak out? Say it. Jill's not in her room. She's not picking up. What's going on? The cops aren't there. What? They were there when I first came in, but they're not there now. Oh. Out the front. <laughs> oh, we got hey. two again? Or, yeah, because that'd be awfully quick. Oh. Oh. oh! Oh, through the oh. envelope uh, box. Opener deal. I'm Mail sorry. slot. Sorry. That's what I was going for. Well, there goes that idea, Mason. Yep, so that much for that. Hard. Like I said, they haven't shown us anybody to make us believe who it could be. And we're over an hour in. What are you doing? I just saw somebody coming around the side of the house. Kate, we were just attacked. She's dead. Where is she? Front door. God, it couldn't be her, could it? Uh, I mean, her it, and somebody else. Stay here. She's putting off the kind of the vibe, but I don't think so, man. I've got a homicide at the Roberts residence. I mean, being a police officer, she would have access to everything. She's trained. She's in shape. She can fight. I mean possibilities there no more on your own what if she's you and me, sisters forever. with drew barrymore from the first one oh because they went to high school together they she went said to you high didn't school remember together me. said you didn't remember her. and because of what sydney's mom did there were bystanders who were killed in the yeah. process a lot of innocent people yeah it's the sister of drew barrymore from number one she wants her revenge this is what the reboots do. They 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 one up the original ending. Okay, no offense, guys, but I'm gonna put in stab seven. Suspiria, don't look now. You know it. Wow. Did you feel that? Him. I'm getting a creepy vibe from him. But they were at the start of the. Uh... Yeah, they weren't there. The cops are gonna come for us. They're gonna shut down my website. May I ask what the hell you're doing here? What? You sent me a text message. After party at Kirby's house. I think I left it in your car. I didn't text him. And I'll prove it. Oh, so just oh, walk just away. Walk hey, 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 hey. You're just going to hey. let her go? Come on. Oh. Get, 
Come on! Come, come on! Dude, you let her walk outside alone! Nobody thought... What the f***? God, I wish I saw this in the theater. Oh. Kate Roberts is dead. Huh? And Sydney fled the scene. Where the hell were Haas and Perkins? They were found dead in their car two blocks away. Multiple stab wounds. She doesn't sound too broken up about it for being her fellow officers. My early guess, we're over halfway through, <laughs> is her. Oh, don't drink in the horror movies. He's next. That's my, my guess. Get ready for a hall pass with Robbie Mercer Extra. Woodsboro High may be in store for some geek history. <clears throat> Yo, he kind of looks a lot like Cotton Weary. He's kind of got the same face facial mannerisms. Cotton Weary's kid? I don't think he had any kids, though. Hello. We don't he know. Only had, well, That's true. The most we knew was that he had a girlfriend, Christine. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of backwards. She's still not back yet. Nobody's saying a fucking thing. They're just ignoring it like it never That's happened. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now would be a really good time to make a move. Couldn't you make a move? I just did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, did, did you see Joe? Yes, Trevor. She is upstairs. Oh, dude, I love this part of the movie. Good to see you. Did I just interrupt something right here? <laughs> Shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a little drunk, so. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, these guys don't even have a chance in this one. Like, there's no running or nothing. I, I, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's like no close calls. Once they see Ghostface, man, they are done. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Uh. He is such a liar. What do you mean, where is he? He just went upstairs looking for you. Guys! Jill! Sydney! Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, never get the door shut. Oh. 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 Guys, take it more. <laughs> and they're going back upstairs! <laughs> back upstairs! There's no other way out. You can jump. Don't let the sound and don't come out until I can get you, okay? Got it? Okay, pay attention to the shoes. Some folks in the comments on Scream 1 were telling us to pay attention to the shoes of Ghostface. Sydney, where are you? I'm at Kirby's. Looks like. Wait. Okay, so it's not her. At least okay. not one of them. Oh! I need all units it's to gotta be nine the boyfriend. Whispering light. You'd think with everything going on... Mean. She was carrying in the last movie. I know. Wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Now they're going downstairs? Oh, for... <laughs> no rolling pins, no frying pans, no knives, no nothing. Apparently, nobody cooks in this house. Kobe, let me in. Charlie. This is blood. Please, please. There is someone else out here. Get away from the door, Charlie. Kirby, it is me. Please let me in. Sorry, I can't. Look out! Ah, uh, oh, poor Charlie. Now oh, they're still following the rules of uh, the horror movies here. Oh my God! Now that's on their hands for the rest of their life. They wouldn't let they wouldn't Charlie let him in. in. Oh, it's just like the first one. Oh, please, it's Charlie's phone. I'm gonna get chill. We should be in the same place. Just, just keep him on the phone. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, come on! Uh, We're getting again. separated again! Come uh, on! Come on! Just keep. <laughs> You're smarter than this, Sydney. Jason's weapon. Uh, 
It's a machete. Just ask Sydney if you need some help. Freddy Krueger. Wait, no, 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 no. Please, just ask me one more question. Just one more. Last chance question. Groundbreaking horror movie in which the villain... Uh, Halloween. Uh, Last House on the Left, mm. Friday the 13th. It's one of those, right? Right? Uh oh something weird is happening. Ruby, this is making a move. What? Oh! It is him. It is him. Or at least one of them. Wow. Oh, what a twist. Okay. Now look. Yeah. Going with the film school guy again? Kirby? Charlie and Trevor? It's got to be. We're still. You think she's going to get away? Oh. oh. The oblique shot? Oh. oh what the, the cousin? This is the part, my dear cousin, when the cameras. Man, I got great footage of my Robbie kill. Good, we'll cut and upload it later. Make it all traceable to Trevor. Speaking of which. Ah, there's Trevor. Oh. So those cops want you to have this, Jill? I am not the girl you cheat on. Oh! Oh, what? Oh! What? We're perfect. No. No. Oh! oh! What the f Oh! Gotta figure it out yet, Sydney? Trevor's this generation's Billy Loomis. They're gonna see it. It's gonna be a worldwide sensation. This time Randy gets the girl. Are they gonna... Are they gonna do the... No, are they gonna stab each other? Do you know what it was like growing up in this family? I mean, she 86 her own mom. Sydney this and Sydney that and Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Come on, Charlie, let's get on with this. You have to be strong. Yep, they are. Just like the first one. Come on. Shoulder me. Oh, oh that wasn't the shoulder. Oh. That was the heart. Not the way we were. Oh. Charlie Billions, too. It's a soul survivor. Oh. oh. You were the idea, man. Oh. oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What a wild fucking twist. What world are you living in? I don't need friends. I need fans. This has never been about killing you. How do you think people become famous anymore? This is before Instagram even. <laughs> Holy sh <laughs> Or TikTok. <laughs> so you do have to die, Sid. <laughs> oh! She's got to get herself at least once, doesn't she? Now she's got to get rid of all that stuff. Yep. Ugh. Ugh. Now he'll have the DNA on yep. the fingernails. Oh, that was a lot. Oh. Oh. Oh, is she gonna put herself through the table? The old Chris Farley dives through the coffee table. <laughs> I am the table. They're trying to mimic exactly what Sid yeah, is doing. Trying to look just like her. Oh, that's what she wanted. Oh, they're gonna tell her that Sid made it. Yeah. Watch. And then she's gonna have to try to get life? her in the hospital. Matching wounds and all. How would she know that? Come on, Dewey, put it together. Oh, he knows. And they think Sydney just might make it. She may not remember anything. Let's get some rest now. Man, Dewey had to catch that about of course matching wounds. Dewey caught it. Now Dewey's going to go and uh, be waiting. Protect Sid. Yep. Although that might be too obvious, too. They've done so many good twists mm -hmm. in this movie. Yeah, they really didn't let on who the villain could be. I wouldn't have caught that when she said matching wounds right away had you not said it. Uh, She's a strong kid. She's going to have to be. With your matching wounds. Why she was stabbed in the shoulder? Come on! Did she know I was too? Shit! <laughs> oh, come on, Dewey! You just won't die, will you? How are those stitches? Oh, is Dewey gonna get it again? Dewey! Austin only gave Vince one. <laughs> 
said. God damn it! Oh. Give me your gun. Oh, is she gonna hit her with the paddles? Don't do anything stupid. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, maybe she's got a vest. Let's go. I'm gonna enjoy blowing your head off. Oh yeah. Clear. 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 Oh, oh head! <laughs> oh, I didn't see that coming. I thought she was just gonna. Don't f with the original. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wait, wait, she's got to get back up yet. Yeah, she's yeah. got to get back up yet. Give her one more. What about Judy? Does she have a vest on, I hope? Oh. Nice one. Yeah, she had a vest. Yeah. On. Wear the vest. Save your chest. I don't know about you, but I feel a whole lot better. Awaiting a first public statement from Jill Roberts, survivor. Oh, uh, well. Oh. Who single-handedly put a stop to this 21st century Woodsboro killing Oh, they're spirit. getting it all wrong. Yep. An American hero right out of the movies. Uh, not quite. Oh! Mm. Oh! <laughs> what? Come on, is there any? No, I don't believe so. Uh, wow! Oh, and that's it. What? Man, guys! That's there. awesome! Scream 4! Oh, that was great! Oh, you were good. Are you Man. kidding me? Oh, that was good stuff. I came in with low, low expectations, right? The uh, fourth one, you're thinking 11 years, 11 later. years later. Yep. What? Man, the the twist that they had to play in this because of 2011's technology. Oh, Rory Culkin, by the way, not oh, Kieran. Oh, it was Rory? It wasn't Kieran? Okay. No, nope. not Kieran. Uh, anyways, <sighs> the... The way they had to dance around the tech in this one with the cell phones and the apps and everything else, we've seen it in more modern movies the way they do it. Usually it's low battery, no service. That's how they get around it. This they kind of use right, to their advantage. Gale. They're uh, playing with the webcams and all that. So it truly did feel like an update uh, to the Scream franchise, which it was super entertaining. Now, this one... If I had to nitpick it, it would only be because, and maybe I missed it to be fair, but I didn't think they dropped nearly the hints that they did in the others for us to figure out who the villain was. Because I remember looking at it, we were like over an hour in and Oak and I still had nothing. no clue <laughs> as to who it could I be. Nothing. I mean, oh gosh, this was just, it was so good. It kept you guessing. Oh, uh, I loved you guys. Kept going, oh, Trevor, oh my God, he's got those creepy eyes. And I just well, kept hitting at the gym. Obvious, it was too obvious to be Trevor. And like, that was the problem I had was that in the other ones, uh, especially Scream 3, they kind of gave everybody their little bit of a moment mm. where you think it could possibly be them. Right. And Except like, for Scott Foley, who was the killer. Yeah. yeah and like, <laughs> they, they kind of gave Trevor a little bit of a moment, but not really. You're like, really? It's not going to be the the boyfriend again but then you're like well he is always missing from what's going on and you know judy had uh, her little moment but we're like wow there's no way it can be the uh you know uh dewey's right hand woman right can't possibly be her so yeah that would be my only real nitpick is that they never really i felt gave us enough hints but again maybe i just missed it so i would love it if all of you helped me out in the comments and said well no mason quinn if you remember here they clearly showed such and such happening so that was uh outstanding again all the actors did amazing in this like i said they must have had to go to la go to casting and say uh yeah you know those actresses who are in those movies and tv shows uh yeah which ones yeah i need all of them i, I need all 30 of them for this movie so that was a lot of fun emma roberts ab absolutely slayed this and uh, while i didn't see all of them uh i know she did the american horror story i know she was pretty big in those uh, i think we might be diving into those at some point who knows but Obviously, the Roberts talent uh, flows pretty good through the family here because she did amazing in this. I, uh, I never would that her name is suspected her from the start. Yeah, that was outstanding. So, again, another gosh, another home run for Scream. I, you know, because these movies had so many parodies with them, with the scary movies and the, you know, the other ones like that. I, I was like you, Oak. I thought this was was gonna fall off. I was expecting it for it to be. You know, be like, oh boy, they really kind of missed the mark on this one, but they didn't. It was, it was outstanding. You know, I, uh, 
I loved it because it, it does really pay a lot of homages to the originals from, you know, the film geek this time. It's Randy and Sydney that are the survivors. And then she goes, no, this is a solo thing. And like, yep. it seemed like he was mad, but not too mad. Cause he was like, it seemed like he was still infatuated with Jill. And then how he finally got the move from the girl. And then obviously he turns it back on her. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun sitting here watching you guys trying to go, oh, is, this, is it this guy? Is, is it that guy? Or is it this girl you're, or you're that right girl? right there with all of them. And right there it's there's two of them and boom it was you know it was a lot of fun to watch you guys try and work your way around it though as well and i you will be able to watch and see me give a couple of gym looks once again to the uh. camera because uh this was this was like you said a lot of fun there's a lot of swerves swerves a lot of twists and turns and swerves that's why i said the way i said it um because I watched this when it came out on, like, cable and everything, well, on the movie channels. And I didn't know what to expect. And, like, the beginning, I actually loved it that they kind of, that they had the the falsies with the first two. Yeah, I just was like, yeah. this is pretty good. And then when it got into the third one, I was right along with you guys. I'm like, okay, is this it or what's going on? And what's funny is, like, I, as I recognize at least one of the actresses in the, each of them, with the exception of Anna Paquin and, Kier, and Kristen Bell, who weren't like they were slouches at the time no, i mean they're pretty well known yeah. and the that is a huge twist that no they're just part of a movie and chris bell just <laughs> shows who a killer is right at the beginning yeah. so this was so much fun it was fun to go back and re-watch this one you got to see dewey as the sheriff got to see a you know as is uh the deputy kind of hitting on her gail like how is she doing like retirement wise sydney actually having a book and had an assistant Sadly, Allison Brie met her demise, but that was also the other thing. I forgot how how many hits, or big hitters were in this cast. Yeah, yeah it's just All the way like down, the, you had your originals, but then like the you had one. Hayden. You had Lucy Hale with her bit yeah. part, Anna Paquan. Uh, you know, I can go on and on with Hayden and everybody else. But so this was a lot of fun. It was great to see Emma Roberts, like, kind of twist there at the end. So it was a lot of fun yeah. coming back to yeah, this. Yeah, the world in this one felt a lot bigger than Scream 3, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, I, as answer was scrolling down through Wikipedia, we, we kind of always take a look to get some, um, you know, some more information. I, I, God, this was under $100 million. I think this was the worst at the box office yeah. that so far had done. $97.2 million. Um, but I, look, with a $40 million budget, so a budget higher than previous ones, but this was... This was a lot of fun. I mean, it was it was the same kind of suspense as the earlier ones. I agree with Mason Quinn. I think in the earlier ones, they gave us a little bit of hints, you know, like, you know, a lot of misdirection, obviously, but hints as to who it could be. And and I've like, I think we had mentioned, I'm not sure if it's going to make the cut for the YouTube cut, but we had mentioned like, hey, maybe it's this film student, like just for a second. I thought it was him. You know, he was hosting the, mm -hmm. the Stabathon. So he was right there. So but when you have two people, uh, you have an instant alibi for one of them, right? Yep. I mean, so that's kind of the thing. And and I think that continually creates problems. If you have two people, oh, where were we? I was here at this time. Well, it happened to the other person. I was here at this time. Yep. So you can have a rock solid alibi and, and get yourself, you know, kind of uh, eliminated from the list of suspects um, <clears throat> when you work in twos like this. In a million years, I would have never, I mean, there's not a single mention that Maybe it's Jill. Maybe it's it's Sid's no. cousin. You know, I thought, um, you know, maybe it was you know somebody else from the family coming back, which who it turned out to be. You did um, not what we expected, but not not how we expected it to be. So, I thought this was great. You know, and the thing is, is you have to wait till that very end and you find out the twist, and then they gave us another twist with Jill eighty sixing. <laughs> Uh, her so-called partner yep. and then another twist was st Sid still being alive I mean they're, they're both in the hospital I mean that was great Gail inadvertently kind of helped solve the yeah, crime with the, with the she saved the day again and and I, I, I honestly I didn't pick up on that right away it was Mason Quinn yeah. was like how would she know that and Dewey didn't pick up on it right away because he said it to Gail so had Dewey not gone back to Gail's room the ending would have played a of course, hypothetically, in the movie, ending right. would have played out very differently. What was interesting is that once everything went down, look, uh, Jill was, she was out of luck, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Dewey had it figured out. There's no way she would have known that. Um, she was trying to strangle Sid. I mean, like, <laughs> we have somebody come in with a, a stomach wound, and uh, she's, you know, now no strangled. longer with us, but she's got, uh, you know, strangle marks on her neck or 
you know, I mean, there was there was no way for her to get out of it. So I think she just come kind of completely melted down. Accepted her demise. Um, yeah. So I look. I thought this was. I thought it was great, and I had low expectations. As I had low I. expectations for number three, and number three I thought was really good. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, ten years later, yeah. there's no way number four. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm looking um, just at development, and I see that Wes Craven directed it again. Yeah. Um, so, and that Kevin Williamson, the writer for Scream One and Scream Two. Um, what was on board with this so and I think that's what's really great about these movies is like um, you, you know they, they were they were unique but they were good and they're you know for me this is a, it's a suspense movie as much as it is a horror movie yeah, and a mystery and I, and I think that's why this really pulled me in is because it was a suspense movie it wasn't like look when you think horror movies we know Michael Myers is a killer we know Freddy Krueger is a killer Krieger Krueger uh, we know Jason Voorhees is the killer, except in part five, where it was a fake Jason Voorhees, but that's... Uh, uh, one, it was okay, his mom. semantics. Yeah. No, that was a big part of that movie. That's well, not semantics. Well. Have you not seen Friday the 13th, all of them? Not all of them, no. Uh, anyhow, part five, great one. Uh, oh, I want to see him in space. <laughs> I think he answered it like it was Jason. If we get a scream in space, uh, that's... Uh, that's well, remember, the that. stab five was time travel. Right, <laughs> but yeah, that was funny that they threw that in there. But uh, look, I thought this was phenomenal. Now, do you guys do you guys think that with the release of the scary movies and the parodies of this, that that hurt these box office numbers? Because I'm look, this movie was great. Yeah. And I don't know what sort of answer. Can you scroll up on yeah, Wikipedia? Yeah, I want to see what was see around what the, the same time. No, I just want to see what the critical response was for oh. this. Well, and you know, the thing is, maybe people did see that. They started to look, oh, it's another Scream movie. This is going to be a bit of a joke. They already had the scary movie or the scary movie movies. Uh, you know, so that's a possibility. But boy, if you didn't see this one in a the theater, you missed out. Okay. I mean, so the Rotten Tomatoes, it's at 60%, score 5.9 out of 10. Um, B you minus know, on an A plus F scale. Uh, yeah, Ebert but, gave it two out of four stars. Yeah, I mean, so, so I mean, it's not bad, right? No, I mean, no, it's it's, it's, not, it's middle not, of the look, road. It's not a, it's not a you know a, a, a you know a ninety five percent Rotten Tomatoes movie, but for a fourth oh. segment, it wasn't bad. But I got I got to imagine that the release of the scary movies and the parody of this kind of impacted this. It was also going up against paranormal act the paranormal, paranormal activity movies which kind of created a bit of a new genre where it's you know the slow creepy door. I know you've got your feelings on those movies, but it was also competing with those and those were big hits in their own right. So that might have been something to consider. Well, at this point by the time Scream 4 came out all like four scary movies that come out so there had been oh, well had that over. many of those yeah oh wow yeah, yeah, yeah well, there you go yeah. one and two came out and like one uh, the first scary movie came out the same year as scream three and then two came out like a year or two later then three was like oh four oh five and then oh six was scary movie four Did this scary i think movies, five was almost even all the scary movies and I've, I've seen i think maybe parts of the first one did the scary movies parody just scream or did they parody everything they parodied everything everything okay oh yeah yeah the, the first one was a mixture of i know what you did last summer and scream oh, okay right. so i just i just look i thought this was a really good movie and I, that, like i'm trying to figure out you look made you know 90 some million at the box office of the 40 million dollar budget i don't know from the studios if that's considered a win mm-hmm. you know i yeah. mean but um I, I don't know what's expected with this sort of genre in that time frame but I, look i thought this was really good yeah. um I found it interesting that they kind of dove into the online and the streaming stuff because you know we're in 2023 and you look back at yeah. 2011 yep. and you're like 2011. <laughs> I mean, Facebook had been around for a handful of years, uh, but no Instagram well, in 2011. Yeah, yeah, no Instagram in 2011. Yeah, TikTok. Uh, no TikTok. Um, streaming platforms. Twitter was around, but yeah. that was inf- that was infinite right infancy streaming platforms was pretty much just on website there was no facebook live in 2011 that wasn't a thing yet so i think it's it seems almost groundbreaking Mm -hmm. if you will that uh they were talking about these kids doing this for for fame and online and now it feels like this almost feels like uh, i mean with a couple of changes in technology and and social media and stuff this plot feels like it would almost hold up today yeah i think it would i think it would totally work and what i found interesting is i thought they didn't 
uh, go by some of the Scream rules that a lot of you in the comments in the first Scream uh, talked about. Uh, the thing that was talked about was, hey, look at the uh, the villain's shoes. Look at what they're wearing, because I guess in the first one, they never changed the shoes, and we would have noticed that it was uh, it was Stu and Billy. Billy. And also, nobody got interviewed by the police in this one, because if you remember in the other ones, yeah, the first three got interviewed first, it was them. So we didn't or at least they either. showed, because like they showed Timothy was the first one that was interviewed. Well, you know what yeah. was interesting, and I think this is why it threw me on Judy for a minute, because we saw those black boots, and the first thing when you yep. see is officer's shoes yep. the officer's shoes mm -hmm. um interesting that jill and and, and uh, with Charlie uh, with like, her and sydney being in high school together that was big too they could have tied something yeah. in there yeah of course if, if, if i don't know if it made the cut hopefully it does but i had hypothesized just in case it doesn't make the cut i had hypothesized that judy was drew barrymore's like sister from the first one and what was going to happen was she was going to blame you know, like all the murders wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Sydney and her mom and, you know, uh, that her sister was collateral damage and now it's going to come back to impact you and everybody that you love is going to be collateral damage, which, of course, I was wrong, but that's the fun. That's mm -hmm. the fun part yeah, with yeah. these movies. On a, on a, uh, well, a quick scale of one to five, how surprised were you that it was Jill? <laughs> oh, I was, uh, yeah, I was totally <laughs> surprised. To I had no idea. It was well, and, and again, the problem with this one, and I, I don't know if it made the cut, I was telling Oak, I'm like, we're running out of suspects here because everybody kept getting taken out so quickly. It was just like, ghost face is there, boom, boom they're done. That's well, once, it. We're once, running out But once of again, quick. just like uh, Jerry O'Connell, just a little slice yep, on the arm. Uh, I was just a little slice. A little slice on Jerry was innocent. You put some respect well, on his name. Jerry was. <laughs> some respect on his Jerry name. Jerry O'Connell, Romaine. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Uh, man, this one was fun. I am going to rate this uh, higher than the last two screams. For oh, me, I mean, this was perfect. just excellent. This was a, we'll even give it a little, uh, little on the end there. <laughs> 4.35 answers for me for Scream 4. I, guys, I would love to hear in the comments what you all thought of this. And uh, if, this, like Oak was saying, if the scary movie parodies kind of maybe heard it a little bit. I, guys. once again, was pleasant, pleasantly surprised with how well it was. And it holds up. So I'm going to go the same as what I gave as 3 and 1 as a 4 2 5. <laughs> two is two is still my favorite. I'm matching answer score here, and you know we we watch so many movies, and there's movies that I guess I would consider higher quality film productions than this. You know that I've given lower scores. Like this is a really good movie, mm -hmm. but the suspense and the turns and it's a slasher and, and, movie. And I, I, you know what? I swerve. Almost, I'm, here, swerve. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix that a little I'm gonna bit. Fix this. Yeah, because I, mean, I because I look I have to. Is it the highest quality movie? No, it's it, it's not. But I have to. There has to be something. Oh, in here look at that! For the experience and the experience mm -hmm. of watching this, you guys saw me. I'm like, no, <laughs> you were really getting it. Don't go outside. <laughs> and you know that's what they're doing. And that's the yep. brilliance of having somebody like Wes Craven do this, mm -hmm. right? He's not unaware that Jill going off by herself. And, and I felt myself so, more than the other movies, I felt myself like, no! <laughs> How many times? And I wish I could have seen this in the theaters. I'm bumping up to a 4.5. Again, look, look just, that. is this gonna win any Oscars? No. Was the Rotten Tomatoes scores the best? No. And I get why that is, but for me and the experience of watching it, kind of the way it sucked me in, I'm going with a 4.5. I thought this was great. And, it, and again, it, it's up there with it. all of them. Yeah, and mm -hmm. again, I think what adds to the experience, I said it with the, the last couple, watching this one with a couple of friends where you can enjoy it. Everybody can kind of be giving each other a little bit of a hard time, be yelling at the TV. Yeah. That totally changes the experience versus just sitting on your couch and watching this by yourself like maybe the critics do. I feel these are meant to be almost interactive with, with you, friends. Yeah, and I, I absolutely agree. And, and I you get the feeling like yeah. that from Sabathon where they're all watching. Right. Yeah, yeah. With the way that we watch this with the guys, Look, I, it, out of respect for the other people in the theater, I wouldn't have been yelling, no. come on, no! <laughs> but because of the format that we have here, it allows us to get more into the movies. So some well, people might be yeah. saying, hey, a 4.5 is crazy. In this context, this experience, watching it with the guys, being able to yell at the TV, I loved it. Well, being able to yell at you, shut up and watch the movie! <laughs> so for Appleton, Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next Screen Pals, oh. and good night now. Oh. We get to jump right to it. It's so awesome.